Hi, and welcome to the Tenant File Property Management Software. Today we're going to talk about how to set up new owners, properties, units, and tenants. There are two different ways to do that, and here's the first one. You would click on the Owners button. You're going to get a message that says already you have an owner, property, unit, and tenant set up. So the tenant file comes with one already set up for you. Click OK, and here's the one that's set up. The owner's name is here. Here's the property name, there's the rental address, and there's where the tenant name would go. So for the very first one, you're going to simply overwrite what's in the system already. So I'm going to click on the top one in red, which is the owner. You'll see a red check mark next to where it says owner. For the owner's first name, I'm going to type in a name. Overwriting what's already in there. Now I can either click on the property name here on what's called the tree or I can just move to this tab and click on the property here. This is where your property name goes. So let's just say this is uh, 123 Elm Street and that's done for the property name. You can also fill in the uh, mailing address to the property if you want to as well. The next one is the unit. So I'm going to click here you can see it moves the check mark over to the unit. Let's make this a duplex. So I'm going to type in 123 Elm Street A. This will be unit A. And now I'm going to move over to the tenant. And we'll just put in a tenant name. So I've got the owner, property, the first unit and the tenant for that particular unit. You'll see that uh, this is in a hierarchy form where you see the owner, property, unit, and tenant. So let's add unit B. You don't click on owner because you've already got the owner set up. You don't click on property because the property is set up. So you click on unit. And now you click the new button. It tells you that it's about to add a new unit and tenant for the existing owner and property and it gives you the owner's name and the property address. So we just say yes and now you'll see it's added a new unit and new tenant. We can simply type in the new unit here. Make this Elm Street B. I'll click on the tenant's name. Click on the tree. Now we've got an owner, a property, the first unit, and the next unit. You'll see that uh, Street B comes before Street A. If you just exit and get back in, everything always alphabetizes when you get in, so it's put them in the right order. That's the first way to set up a new owner, unit, property, and tenant. The other way is called Easy Setup and it is also a good way to set things up however you don't have access to all the information on your screen this would be like if you had a lot of units to set up quickly or an apartment building where everything was redundant so let's just say this is an apartment building uh, with just three units right now it says what do you want to create a new owner let's just say that the owner is that's the owner of the apartment Put an S in there. The apartment name is Elm Street Apartments. The rental address, uh, let's just say Unit 101. And just for the sake of time, I'm just going to type the same thing for the first and last name. And we can go ahead and put in the tenant's uh, rent amount. And it says that we created that. Now we've already put the owner in there. We already have a property, Elm Street Apartments. And then here's the units and uh, tenants. So what we want to create here is a new unit for the existing property in the building. So let's select the a property here. It brings everything in for you. This one's going to be unit 102. Let me 
just going to copy and paste this. Create it. Did I say, oh, this should be 102. There we go. And now we've set up two units under that property. Let's do one more. And that's it. This is the second way to set things up in the program. If we go back to the activity screen, you'll see here is the first net we set up. The first net we set up was a duplex. Here's Elm Street A and Elm Street B. The next one that we set up was an apartment building. Here's the property. Here's unit one, two, and three. So that's it. It's very easy and quick to set up new owners, properties, units, and tenants in the tenant file. Thanks for listening.